As protectors of human rights, we believe that we are part of the web of life and we come here to protect the air, the water, the earth, and those with no voices that walk on four legs, that fly on wings, that swim, that live under the earth and above the earth. Judy is my Ponca name. Casey Camp Hornick is my uh, colonized name. I'm a member of the Ponca tribe of Oklahoma. We were forcibly removed from our homeland when my grandpa was eight years old into this, uh, what was then called Indian Territory in the United States, where they were going to uh, imprison all of us. We had a trail of tears that came from northern Nebraska or Nebraska and uh, southern South Dakota all the way down where one in three of our people died and one in three died after we arrived there. We were forced to leave behind everything and from that time until now, we have uh, pipelines like spider webs under the earth. They have uh, entirely poisoned the air, the earth, and the water where we live. So we basically are being poisoned and uh, our community is riddled with cancers. Uh, with autoimmune diseases, with cardiovascular diseases, with babies not making it to birth. When we get these diseases, they, they slam us, they kill us. So we are victims of environmental genocide directly related to the extractive industry. What they call resources are always in indigenous territories where we've protected them because we know that all life is intertwined that human beings don't exist without the sacred water, without the sacred breath of the Creator, without the roots being strong and firm and feeding us, without the forelegs walking through, without the wings having their way of contributing, without the butterfly carrying the pollen, without the bees being able to walk free. So we prayed and we were taken down.